check it out, guys. We've got two holes in the ground here, but the difference between these and any other hole in the ground is these have silk over the top. That tells us that there are tarantulas in one or both of these holes. So what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and fish the tarantula out. And the best way to do that is use a piece of grass. Okay, so we're gonna fish down in. And sometimes just moving around the outside edges will trigger reaction from the tarantula. And they won't come out, but they'll come over to investigate. Now the other thing I'm doing is I'm actually feeding this piece of grass down in to the burrow. Oh, oh, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. There he is, I see him. Here he comes. Look at this tarantula. Want to use this to pry her? I don't know, I, don't, I just don't want to hurt her. No. Yeah. Oh, good lord, look at that. Ooh. Beauteous. Perfect. She's a she. That's a she. Beautiful a spider. She. Woo! Oh, nice one. This is the Arizona blonde tarantula that we just were able to retrieve from her burrow. We talk about tarantulas being harmless. If I can get her to come this way. Tarantulas are harmless. There's no deadly tarantulas anywhere. Here she comes. There's no deadly tarantulas. Tarantulas are not out there biting people and hurting people. They just aren't into that. It's not their thing. Notice the first thing she does, she lays right down flat right on my hand all she's trying to do is get the heat off of my hands there's no bite there's no running and jumping and screaming and all these things people think are supposed to happen with tarantulas guys this is a wild tarantula 100 percent we just retrieved her from the burrow and here she is lying down and gonna probably fall asleep in my hands because this is what tarantulas do Hey folks, it's Rhinebridge Bugman. Check that out. Agitated piles of wasps. Check this out. This is cool. Stay with me, man. Nothing but tons of cool bug fun.